Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Pitchell. Follow us. Part three. To see you back for more. Are you smarter than a ten-year-old? Just before the break, Phil Fours left with fifteen hundred pounds toward his wedding. Very a good nice. starter, I yeah. say. A good starter. Right. Let's bring on the next class. The classmates creep along the corridor and then race to sit on the plastic chair. Harry gets there first. Oh, Harry! <laughs> He raises an arm. Keep it going for Hannah! She buffs her fingers. Dirty Harry! Pointy finger dance. Little Evie! She circles her hands around her face. He does bunny knees. And whilst we clear the air from uh, Harry's unfortunate incident, <laughs> let's introduce the next contestant. It's Deb McGonagall. Deb is 23 years old and she's a speech and language therapist from Dumfries. She skips on and high-fives the classmates. Hi, Deb. How are you? Nice to see you. Deb, it's lovely to see you. And I really enjoyed your entrance. Yeah. Thank that you was very amazing. Much. A Scottish Cheers. ditty. Yeah, that's great. Can you right. uh, teach us any of those Yeah, ones? Uh -huh. if you think you're up to it. Should have a go at this one, yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. Scottish dancing, OK. Yeah. okay. So I'll just... Oh, well, no, OK. Yeah. I'll stand a wee bit in front of you so yeah. you can see oh, my feet. Oh, in front of us, okay. Yeah. OK. So you need to start with your right foot, right. OK? So out to the right. Yeah. Left foot behind. All right. Beat, beat. Yes. And out to the left. Yes. Right foot behind. Right. Beat, beat. Feet, feet. Gonna be hop, hop, beat, beat, and hop, beat, beat. Bit faster. Hop, beat, beat, and hop, beat, beat. Oh, beat yes! I think I can get this! I think you got it! It's great! Here we go! Oh, Thank you. Right. What would you give us out of ten, Deb? Mmm, maybe a three. <laughs> three? <laughs> You've got a lot of good talent, haven't you, as well? Yeah, I can do a wee bit of basic sign language with my job. Because your job is? I'm a speech and language therapist, yeah. OK, so you can teach us. We're getting <laughs> lots of lessons today. <laughs> yeah, uh, teacher role reversal. Uh, what mm -hmm. are you going to teach us? Um, I'll do a wee bit of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star then That's for good. you. Oh, yeah, OK. OK, okay well, right. audience, you're going to learn this as well, so come on, hands up, hands okay. up, get ready. So it well, goes... Twinkle, twinkle, little... So star, how I wonder what you are. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's very good. Yeah, well sung, well signed. That would be brilliant. <laughs> Who's here with you? Um, my lovely friend Hannah. Um, Hiya. So I worked Hello. With you. Hiya, Hannah. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. All right. Uh, one of these guys will be willing to help you uh, with your first couple of questions. Who would you like to go for? Me, 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 Harry. Go on, Harry. <laughs> He pointy finger dances like John Travolta before shaking dead Dom and Dick's hands. Hey, it's the DJ! DJ Hazard, all ready to go, bubbling, bubbling, bubbling. Let's go for it. OK, Deb, let's have a look at your subjects. Here they are. Were you good at any of those when you were at school? We're looking a bit dodgy. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> English, I liked English. Good. So, yeah. OK, Deb, are you ready? I am, yes. Class, yes. are you ready? Yes! yes. Are you ready? Yeah. Well, let's do this play. Are you smarter than a ten-year-old? Are you smarter than a ten-year-old? What are you going to pick first, Deb? OK, I think I'll go for age six maths. You think it might be easier? Because it's a six for a six-year-old? That's what I'm thinking. Let's Open. have a look at the question. Let's hope it's easy. If you add the sides of a triangle, a rectangle and a square, how many sides do you have all together? OK. Come on. Um, well, a triangle has three sides, right. so that's three. And a rectangle has four sides, so four plus three is seven. And a square also has four sides, and seven plus four is 11. So, that's what I'm thinking is the answer. Yep. Does it seem too easy to be true? Just making sure I've read it right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go for 11. You're locking that in? Yeah. The answer is 11. Mm-hmm. 250 pounds. Mm-hmm. Your level one Scottish standard in maths has served you right! <laughs> well done! <laughs> You've got 250 pounds. 
And well done to you, Harry, as well. I see Legs 11 written on your screen. Yeah, very good. All done. Mm. Let's double your money. <coughs> OK. Um, AJ, English grammar, please. Here's English grammar for an eight-year-old. How many abstract nouns are there in the following sentence? Tom and Jerry eat smelly cheese. It gives them joy and happiness. <laughs> Tom and Jerry eat smelly cheese. It gives them joy and happiness. How many abstract nouns are there in that sentence? OK. Well, Tom and Jerry are named, so they're proper nouns. So that's... They're not abstract nouns. What is an abstract noun? That's what I'm trying to remember. It's kind of going over my head at the moment. <laughs> eat is a verb. Um, smell yeah, is an adjective. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember this from school? Good Lord, how did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Nice drawing. Oh, it's an what? English poem she's done. The clock the, lady. The clock lady. Is that what it says? The clock lady. I thought it was bizarre. How did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that handwriting. By Deborah. And the thing that you've drawn, is that a clock lady? Yeah, it must be Scottish for The it. clock lady is a, a cute wee insect. There you are. Red hour, but spotted wee black. He lives on the leaves or in the branches of trees. Yeah. Oh, my word. Try some look, Chris. Look at that. That's a clock lady, Joel. Is that Scottish for ladybird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It must yeah. be. <laughs> Welcome back. Oh, it's Martin and <laughs> a ten year old. Uh, we're trying to work yeah. out what an abstract noun is. Yeah, yeah. So I think I'll need to do it by a bit of a process of elimination. Um, so, yeah, um, Tom and Jerry are proper nouns. Eat is a verb. Smelly is an adjective. Cheese is a noun. Um, Joy and happiness is maybe what I'm thinking. I'm going to go for two and hope that if I'm wrong, Harry will save me. You may well do. OK. You may not. Okay, Look yeah. in your own answer. Two. You think there are two abstract nouns in that sentence? The words again, you think, are? Joy, happiness. Joy, happiness. Now, should she have joy? She should. Should she have happiness? She should! Yeah! <laughs> 500 pounds! OK, that's Harry, everyone. Well done, big round of applause. Well done, Harry. He shakes her hand and returns to his seat. Debs? Yeah? Not bad so far, eh? Not going too bad. Yeah, two mm -hmm. all on your own. None mm -hmm. of your cheats have been used. Look, you've got four more pupils to choose from. Okay. Which one would you like? Oh, me, 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 please. Hannah. Oh, Hannah, she forwards and shimmies her arms out to the sides. All right, Hannah. Hello. What annoys you? Um, people who go to the supermarket, like in their pajamas, that really annoys me. Get some clothes. You've seen people actually go to the supermarket in their pajamas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so, which one would you like to go for? Age nine math. Age nine math. All yeah. right then. Math, for a nine-year-old, good luck. Here's your question. OK. How many lines of symmetry does an isosceles triangle have? OK. So an isosceles triangle has um, two equal sides and two equal angles. Um, I'm just trying to remind it, think about it in my head. I just thought... Two. You need to borrow my fingers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, a tent shape. Um, yeah, so that would be two full-size, two equal angles. So these two lines would be symmetrical. Is that the question? I think you're best staying like that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember um, your uh, triangles, you lot? Yeah? That's it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah. Is everyone having they fun do? doing that? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> OK. I'll go for two. Two. And whereabouts do you think these lines are? Opposite each other. Oh, no. This is your triangle. Mm-hmm. You think you've made a mistake. You think you've goofed. I do. Why? Because yeah. the line of symmetry is just down the middle. Where did you think the other one was? I was just getting mixed up with the sides. Oh, yeah. No. Because you're saying that an isosceles triangle has got mm -hmm. two equal angles, which mm -hmm. means that it goes like that. Mm -hmm. So the only line of symmetry you think now, after locking okay. in two, is it's the one going from the top corner all the way to the bottom. So you think you're wrong? You are wrong. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I should have spent that little bit longer. I should have, yeah. 
The only way you can stay in this game now, Deb, is by Hannah saving you for £750. OK. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Hannah, no. OK. The answer is... One. Yeah. One, of course. And this is what Hannah's written. Are you staying or are you going? They stare at the blackboard. Same yeah, well done! Close this gate, wasn't it? That was. Shall we just pretend that never happened and move on? Let's. Yeah, let's get you a thousand pounds. Okay. Okay, if you get to a grand, that's a nice round sum of money. What are you going to spend that on? In my wedding dress, I oh. think. I just oh. got engaged. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> when did you get engaged? A month ago. Brilliant. Okay, so it's going towards a wedding dress. How much do you really need for your wedding dress? You say it goes towards it. How much? About three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Good, excellent. <laughs> let's get you that three thousand pound wedding dress. <laughs> um, what are we going to go for next? Um, oh, I think I'll go for age nine literacy. Okay. And hope for the best. All right, you've got literacy. Here's your question. In which fictional land is Lucy told it is always winter but never Christmas? In Narnia, I think. Really? From the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Who's Lucy? Lucy is the youngest of the four children. Right. Um, and it is always winter in Narnia, and it's quite a sad place. So is I it? don't think they have Does it make Christmas. you unhappy when you yeah. think about it? How mm. sure are you? I think it must be, yeah. Well, remember, you can't be saved now, so mm -hmm. uh, you yeah. could go for it yourself. You might want to peek or copy, you know, mm -hmm. you might want to peek just to check you're on the right lines. OK, I, I think I'm confident. I think yep. it's Narnia, so I'm going to go for Narnia. <laughs> And I actually locked in after you. So, in which fictional land is Lucy told it is always winter, but never Christmas? You locked in Narnia? Mm hmm For £1,000. Mm -hmm. Are you right, Deb? Do you get your wedding dress? We'll find out after this break. Ah! End of part three. Log on to sky.com forward slash smarter to meet our brand new classmates and play the Are You Smarter game at home.